In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use the um, Grid Builder WP without the Bricks integration or add-on. Slight change in the way that you do things, but you can still achieve the filters um, as they need to work. So, <clears throat> yeah, I have a, a install or a, a layout that I made previously in Bricks. So we'll head over here, and you'll see it's the standard um, container in which we added a query loop, and in the query loop, we added the items that we wanted. Um, and the add to cart. So this worked with the bricks um, add on uh, for uh, Grid Builder WP. And now we're just going to have a look at this without that. So without the um, the builder add on, now you'll see that the, uh, the products aren't going to filter. Nothing's really going to happen. Um, so if I just reset to the shop view again and I click on music again, nothing's going to happen. But if I change the way that these products are brought into the page, so now I'm going to activate a different way of bringing in the product. So if I have a look here, just above the container here, I'm going to add some code. So we'll add a code block. And then what I'm going to do is, um, so just um, there. So above the current code uh, container, we can add the code. I'm going to head over to my snippets here, and I have this function. And uh, let's just do this quickly. So now I'm going to run this function, which basically brings in the WooCommerce loop. Um, all right, so I'm just adding that in, and I'm going to execute the code. And now you'll see that it's brought in this grid of items. So I'm going to just save that and head over to the website, refresh. And now you'll see that the filter has already been applied to music. We only have the two music items, deselect, and there we have all the items. Then I can um, t-shirts and we only have the t-shirts. So what I'm gonna do quickly now is just check some of the other filters. So to add the filter now, that filter that I have there, I've used the short code and you'll see in the short code, I've added this W instead of the grid number, it adds in WPGB dash content. And then in Bricks Builder itself, under settings, you do need to enable this setting here, filter custom content. Okay, and if you click on the I, it'll just give you the instructions to add in that WPGB dash content in place of the facet grid number. And if we go and have a look at the facets, we're just basically replacing the zero with that value. So let me check out a few more things, um, see if they work. Uh, let's have a look at the um, sale items. Let's copy that one. Head over. And I'm not sure if I can put two short codes in the same space, but uh, let's try that. Um, I haven't tried two in the same space, may not work. Right, seems to be okay, save. Head over to the website, refresh. And now if I click on the on sale, then only the items on sale are being filtered. So that gives me an idea that I can actually then maybe explore this a lot more. So um, We've got the category. We've uh, let's try a variation. Let's try this color. So I'll put the color at the bottom here. And uh, the the interesting thing now is that we can just stack our short codes here on top of each other, which makes it very easy to manage. Head over to the website. Let's refresh. Right. So there we have the colors. And if I select a color my selection changes. The pagination here is the end of this particular section. So everything seems to be working just fine. Um, let's go and have a look at a category. So if I go to music, there should only be two items, only two items, and then my choice. I only have a choice of on sale and music because obviously that's all that's applicable to those products. Let's go back to the shop, and now I'm gonna select clothing, and let's see what we get in clothing. And in clothing now, you'll see that um, I get the main category and the subcategories. 
click on t-shirts and yeah t-shirt show um, click on hoodies and t-shirts um, yeah that's great so that's working the other thing that I think I'm going to test now is the pagination because we did create a pagination one in a previous um, video so I'm going to head down here to uh, load more so that will be the load more and we'll copy that and then on the website I'm going to add that at the bottom so I know that I have navigation here that's fine I'm going to add a short code so we add the short code and we're going to pop in uh, I think it was WPGB um, dash uh, content and we'll save that head over to the website and refresh and there we have the load more click on the load more and the load more works so yeah it looks like you can then include um, wp grid builder with your installation of bricks even without the add-on so what is the big change here then so the big change then is the way that we bring in the products and to do that is the snippet here and it's not um, there's nothing massive about it so basically what we're doing is um, we're just accessing the um, main loop of the archive so if have posts while have posts the post um, which is pretty basic there's no argument set for post type etc to get the product template we bring in the wc underscore get underscore template underscore part and we go for the content and product so that's the only um, code that you need there to show the products and then to get the um, if you bring this in, it'll only bring in the products and they'll all be tagged as LR from the ordered list. So we need to add in this UL element. So I just pop that in there just after the if statement. And then in, in order to get the layout to work properly, you are going to then also need to introduce this class brxe-woocommerce-products. And then, of course, close that off. Um, the URL and the div and that's all that you're going to need to show the products in the past I used this um, to show the navigation but now that we have that um, load more if I just echo that out um, should probably comment this out as well so let's just comment that out and then we'll have the load more without the pagination so that's how you can then um, so all that you really need then is going to be um, I've also included this class for woo posts and then if have posts um, these two classes then while and while echo and that's it a couple of lines of code let's save that and then go back to the website refresh and now we have the load more at the bottom without the pagination and of course now I don't need this anymore so I can then just head over into bricks and then that container that I use to create the query loop I'm just going to add a condition to it and I'll just set that um, post date and I'll just say that that is smaller than or equal to uh, the 1st of October save that shouldn't then show on the front end uh, it still does okay i don't uh, maybe because there's no post um let's try um uh, we could just go with the weekday then so the weekday is not equal to or only show if the weekday is the same as Monday right so that'll only show on Monday refresh and that'll be gone right so now we have um, and it's a perfectly working installation here of WooCommerce and we have everything working add to cart okay add to cart view cart um, add to cart 
yeah, the number's changing, the items are being added. Um, in this particular instance, there's also this dynamic count to see if we qualify for free shipping, and that is also working. So everything appears to be working. Um, yeah, so that's how you can then include um, Grid Builder WP in Bricks with Art using the add-on. Um, hope you found that um, useful. Thank you for watching.